Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 17th episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I'm your favorite teetotaler and host, Celeste Barbier. Welcome to my show. Uh, today, I am drinking uh, Republic of Tea Cup of Chocolate Teas. You've seen me have this box before. Last time I had the peppermint, but today we are doing the red velvet. So um, I'm wearing velvet. This is why I chose the red velvet. Usually there's a theme and there's a reason. If it's lemon, I wear yellow. <laughs> That's just how it goes. It's red velvet, so I'm wearing purple velvet. <laughs> That's how I roll. And uh, for birthdays, happy birthday to anybody that happens to be celebrating. Today is April 8th in the year 2020. It is a Wednesday. And uh, it is also Betty Ford's birthday. She was born on this day in 1918. And I found a good quote by her that's relevant to our situation today. She said, you can make it, but it's easier if you don't have to do it alone. Now, this isn't a stab for those of you that are on quarantine all by your lonesomes. It just is kind of remind you that we need to reach out, be part of a community, tune into the quarantine network or uh, any number of shows that are out there um, and make sure that you don't feel alone. Reach out to friends. There's so many different ways you can do Zoom, you can do WhatsApp, you can do um, house party, Marco Polo, text, all kinds of ways to talk to each other. Um, another quote, I wanted to do another quote because it was so short. Here's another Betty Ford quote. That's what we're here for on, that's what we're here on this earth for, to help others. Yeah, true. Definitely. No argument there. And uh, there are actually only three days the of the national days today. The first is National Empanada Day. I love empanadas. Empanadas are awesome. Yum, yum. Give me some, Okay. National Zoo Lovers Day. Okay, well, zoo lovers just got to calm down. You can't go to the zoo today, all right? We'll have to wait till all this stuff is over. Um, anyway, so uh, the other one is called National All is Ours Day. And the cool thing about the National Days calendar is you can click on any of the days if you want to know more about the history and background of what that day is for and how to celebrate it. So uh, the National All is Ours Day seemed kind of vague, so I decided to click on it and find out what it's all about. And it's pretty amazing. So I... Uh, printed out what it's all about, and I'm going to read this to you. So National All is Ours Day is observed each year on April 8th. National All is Ours Day takes us along three views of appreciation. You can celebrate any of these approaches to the day or pick the one that best suits you. The first approach to the day can be looked at as a time to reflect on all the beauty of nature and all the wonderful things in life. Rarely do we have the time to explore all that nature offers us. Something as simple as the variety of birds that inhabit your own backyard can surprise us. Um, whether we look up to the skies or closer down to the flowers, it is about taking in the surroundings and how beautiful these gifts are to enjoy. Okay, isn't that amazing? So today is a great day to appreciate nature. Um, can you please do this from your homes if you can, on your patios, on your porches, out your windows. Just look at nature, look at the birds in the sky, look at the flowers on the street, but don't, uh, don't, don't go too far. Okay, and the second way you can celebrate this day is by appreciating all that we have. Even when we don't have much, what we do have is a blessing. This approach encourages counting those blessings and avoiding thinking about the things we don't have. I love this. The third way to view the day is by sharing what we have. Regardless of what we have, sharing it seems to make the tough times easier when we all work together. The greatest times and the greatest things in life are those that are shared. So I like all three approaches. I think that I can find, I think we can all find maybe a way to celebrate this day by all three approaches, appreciating nature, appreciating what we have, and being grateful for those things, and then um, sharing what we have. It could be information. Um, some things are being done in trade. Uh, you could Venmo your favorite artists or musicians or um, don't charities that are out there. There's a lot of ways to share. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful no National All is Ours Day. I'm going to remember this one. This is a really great celebration that I did not know about till today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your tea and enjoy your Wednesday. Rain or shine, we're all in this together. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning into my show, Quarantine Time. I'll see you for the 18th episode tomorrow. Take care.